today about the importance of spiritual comfort and why it is so essential today with everything that's going on in the world when we're being assaulted on so many levels in all areas of our lives, we're being affected and we just need some respite, we need some comfort, we need some time off. And so I wanna talk about the importance of spiritual comfort. I'm Anna Gatman, and wherever you're watching this, this is coming to you from the Expansive with Anna Gatman YouTube channel. So I posted on social media on Monday a question, what does spiritual comfort mean to you? And so I thought to myself, what does spiritual comfort mean for me? And I thought, wow, spiritual comfort means that whenever I want to, I can tap into this larger, more spacious, expansive spiritual reality. And when I'm able to do that and I shift so that it's a sensed experience, it's an embodied experience of taking in this larger reality, I feel comfort because I feel more bliss and more joy and more relaxation and more abundance and more delight and more peacefulness. And I feel that I'm part of something larger and that there is a silver lining to everything that's happening in my life and that I'm part of a whole and that we're here together to make a difference in the world. All of this is available to me and to you all the time. All of this is available to us all the time. But as we go about our life and our day, and as we are also assaulted by the news and everything that's happening in the world, the social upheaval, social transformation, uh, ec um, ecological meltdown, financial unrest, the COVID-19 hasn't gone away and it's just spiking and there's gonna be a second wave in the fall. And so, you know, the list is long and that's only added to what you already have going for you in your regular life. So with all of this going on, however it's showing up in your life, whatever the stressors are in your life, we forget, we forget this larger, beautiful, wondrous reality. And so spiritual comfort for me means that if I forget what reality really is about, I can always return to it. If I lose myself, I lose my center, I get upset, I feel abandoned, I feel suddenly angry, whatever I'm feeling, the spiritual comfort is that this reality hasn't gone away. I have just lost connection with it. And I just need to sit quietly for a few minutes and decide what I wanna focus on. Is it spiritual abundance? Is it the feeling of comfort? Is it a sense of inner peace? Do I wanna go out and sit under a tree? Do I wanna look at a stunning image of nature on my phone or my computer and just take it in? Whatever your spiritual practice is, there's so many ways that you can do it in very practical, simple ways as you're going about your day, just taking five minutes off. And when you do that, you will recenter, you'll find your center again, you'll find your essence again. And suddenly, ah, there is the comfort. I'm back in the reality of what, what it is, the larger, more spacious, beautiful, wondrous reality of this amazing planet I'm living on and the amazing life that I have as a human being with you and with all of humanity. And that is comforting. So both the thought that I can tap into it at any moment is comforting but then the actual sensed feeling and embodied feeling of the comfort happens when I actually do the practice of tapping into it. So whenever you feel that you're out of balance, you're not in your center, you're overworked, you're stressed, you're worried, you're fearful, you're panic, whatever it is, take comfort in the knowing that there is a larger, wondrous, reality that you can tap into and when you do the same situation your life begins to look very differently because now you're connected to a larger blissful reality and everything you see looks more blissful more beautiful more loving more caring less alone less stressful more together more creative more intuitive 
So try this out and wherever you're watching this, leave me a comment. Blessings.